Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do a new problem from the CBES Elementary Math Practice Test. This is all part of the GoMath 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. It's number 20 from this Elementary Math Practice Test in California. It's a good problem because it reviews some core math involving mixed numbers and adding and subtracting mixed numbers. Now a mixed number is like 7 and 3 fourths. It's got a combination of a whole number, 7, and a fractional component, 3 fourths. And when we add, you know, mixed numbers, you have to be very careful um, that the fractional components, uh, when we're adding or subtracting them, we make sure that these are, uh, have a shared common denominator. So it's going to involve um, adding, subtracting mixed numbers and finding the common denominator of, those, uh, uh, of their fractional parts. Okay? All right, so let's read it over. Last week, Mario walked 7 and 3 fourths miles. This week, he walked... 15 and 5 6 miles. What is the difference between the distance he walked this week and the distance he walked last week? All right, read it over to yourself. Read it over. As you read it over, you have these mixed numbers here. All right? And we're talking we have that word distance, difference, sorry. We have that word difference here. Difference, what operation is difference? Difference is, uh, is subtraction, right? This, this is going to involve a subtraction. From whatever it was this week, whatever this is, minus last week. All right, so this week it was 15 and 5 sixteenths. And last week it was 7 miles and 3 fourths. And we're doing a subtraction problem, so I'm going to be subtracting these two. And that's going to get me the difference. It's very important that you, you have that structure, that you know it's a subtraction problem, and you know what you're subtracting from what. Now, when I have a, a fraction like this, there's, uh, there's a couple ways to think about it. If this fraction here is larger than the 3 fourths, um, then, we can, then it's going to become a much easier problem. And if it is larger, and 5 sixths is going to be, you know, it is going to be larger than 3 fourths. Um, or we'll, we can find out very quickly if it's going to be larger or not. But if it, um, if it is, we can do this method here, which is just to divide the whole number portion and the fractional portion into two separate subtraction problems. And uh, when we're doing a subtraction problem or, or an addition problem with two fractions, what we want to do is we want to make sure they have that common denominator. So right now, this is 5 6 It's got 6 in the denominator. And this one right here is 3 4 it's got four, It has 4 in the denominator. We want to turn these into equivalent fractions with the same denominator so that we can do any type of addition or subtraction problem. So what's a common denominator? Uh, what does 4, what's a multiple of 4 and a multiple of 6 that they both share? Well, we could choose 12. 4 goes into 12. What? 4 goes into 12 3 times. I do 4 times 3 gets 12. So to find an equivalent numerator, I would do 3, three times 3, and that would get me 9. 3 fourths is equivalent to 9 twelfths. Now let's ask the same question here. How many times does 6 go into 12? 6 goes into 12 2 times. So I do 6 times 2 is 12, and now to find an equivalent numerator, I do 5 times 2 is 10. And this is, uh, now I have 5, 6 is equivalent to 10 twelfths. Now I can do the subtraction. Now I have two fractions with the same denominator. I can do the subtraction. I leave the denominators alone, the 12s alone, and I just do 10 minus 9, and I get 1 twelfth as the difference between 10 twelfths and 9 twelfths. Okay, now I have, I've done the fractional portion out. Now I have to do the whole number portion out. 15 minus 7 
should get uh, 8 as the, as the difference. And I come up with a total difference of 8, eight miles, 8 and 1 12th miles. So that is uh, answer choice B. This is sort of your uh, beginner steps for um, adding and subtracting um, mixed numbers. If it was an addition problem, I'll, the only difference would be I would be um, adding these two different quantities up. Um, but you're still going to have to always remember to, um, when dealing with fractions with unlike denominators, whenever you want to add them or add them or subtract them, you always have to make sure that you convert uh, convert the de denominator into an equivalent denominator. Okay. Um, very good problem. So practice this one. They are going to get a lot harder, but uh, this is this is one strategy you could use for these sort of intro subtraction problems involving uh, subtraction and addition of mixed numbers. Okay, team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. The answer is B. Hope you have an amazing day. Take care. Bye-bye.